Hi, Ada. So what did you think of the film? It was fantastic. And um, I just want to say the filming was beautiful. And every time I come and do work in Soma, I fall back in love with it. So the film was like making me fall back in love with Soma. Awesome. Uh, what communities do you hope sees this film? What do I what? What communities or people do you hope sees this film in the future? Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, in particular, I think API communities, because we don't take up space, and that importance of taking up space is, is and showing. I think all immigrant communities can see different ways of being in a space and how we're always invisible and how we don't, um, how we can show up differently. And Soma, Soma Filipina, the Filipino community in Soma, like having your own school, like having your culture like in the school system is, is just a phenomenal, right? Like you want everyone to see that and see that that's possible for their children in their schools to see culture right, alive. So to me, that's, you know, any immigrant community, you would hope we get to see that and, and see that idea of keeping a place. Um, yeah, so that, that, yeah, that's even new immigrants, I guess is what I'm saying, not just kind of our historic communities. For sure. And how do you feel like storytelling, like in this film, can affect change in citywide advocacy? I think um, people were very nice in the film. Um, one of the things I wanted, like, that happened to me when I was in Soma is I remember a public meeting with redevelopment agency staff, and I can look very middle class, you know, Asian, and I heard um, a high level person in redevelopment saying that there was no blight in Soma, it was only the people. And that, like, that offense, that, that people don't understand that institutional racism and, and, and the kinds of policy decisions that are made with people that have those opinions. And that person is still a very high level bureaucrat in San Francisco today that makes decisions that impact people's everyday lives. And so I think that story, like some of those stories and experiences that we've had that we don't talk about um, are important for all of us to tell. Just like, like, you know, Tina was saying, like, we don't say it was racist. We don't say that, right? It's just not. And I think learning for us to tell our, how to tell our stories so that next generations can see that and see why we are the way we are like, and why our community is the way it is, is it would be really important. Thank you so much.